Teacher talking sports, what it does, what it do, how we live. And people that follow MLB are well aware of how much talent is currently in the game and how do you rank who are the best players in the league? Well, ESPN attempted to do that a couple days ago, so I thought we could take a look. So they did their MLB rank 2024 Ranking baseball's top 100 players. I'm not going to go over the whole list. Uh, maybe we'll take a look at the top 10. And then I'll name some of the notable names that uh, were just outside the top 10. Or in the top 100 and where they ranked. So to create our annual MLB rank list of the top 100 players in this sport. We presented a panel of ESPN baseball experts with pairings upon pairings of the biggest names in the game and ask them which player will be better in 2024. Simple concept, but not easy to do for sure. So who's number one? So you say three teams did not have a player in the top 100. Athletics, Rockies, and Nationals. Number one, a guy who had 40-70 season last year. That being Ronald Acuna Jr., um, just one of the superstars of the game. Still mighty young, and um, Braves have had the best record in the league for the past couple years. Uh, he, they did win a World Series with him on the bench, but outstanding. So fun to watch. I can't argue him being number one. Aaron Judge, number two now. We know he had a injured toe. Now he has injured abdominal. Um, let's see if he's ready for opening day because he's probably the game's premier power hitter. And his teammate Juan Soto is third. Mr. On Base Percentage himself draws so many walks. Hits for power. Hits for an above average batting average. Not the greatest defender, uh, but Arguably the best hitter in the game. Mookie Betts, that's right. You see his position. Shortstop. Uh, Gavin Lux had a little bit of a case of the yips. So they are going to play him at second base. And move, move Mookie Betts to shortstop. Uh, you know, he's played all over the field. Almost turning into a modern day Ben Zobrist. Although he's definitely a better hitter and than Ben Zobrist. Because, see here. Over the last half century, amazing stat, the list of players with more seasons at 8-plus wins above replacement than bets as follows. Barry Bonds, Alex Rodriguez, Albert Pujols, Mike Trout, Wade Boggs, Ricky Henderson, Mike Schmidt. That's it. And, you know, so much versatility in the field, as I mentioned. Fifth is teammate Freddie Freeman. So Freeman, again, as he gets older and older, just still consistently one of the game's Top hitters, no argument with him here. Corey Seager, he's a guy I would arguably... I mean, it's so hard to put him over any of these guys. Maybe over Freeman because he plays a more important defensive position. Uh, but what a season it was for Seager. I believe he had the second best OPS ever for a shortstop in a season uh, behind Archie Vaughn. Uh, he may have dipped below second, but that's how awesome his 2023 was. And, of course, it culminated in a championship. <sighs> Seventh, Garrett Cole, top-ranked pitcher. You understand why he is. But MRI on his elbow. We're waiting for results. Oh, man. Unlikely to pitch opening day. Uh, Yankees fans and baseball fans in general are hoping it's not too serious. Your Dan Alvarez, um, again, awesome hitter. You see, uh, since entering the majors, he has an OPS plus of 165, 1,487 OPS in last season's playoffs. Just mashes the ball, um, DH, or plays left field not particularly well, but uh, just does so much with the bat. Shohei Otani, you have to figure he would probably be number one if he was able to pitch this year. Since he's not, they got him ninth. He will be strictly a DH, but um, 
should do so much damage in a Dodgers lineup that faces that features so many superb hitters and tenth. Corbin Carroll, the reigning National League Rookie of the Year, was seen as an MVP candidate for much of the season, and uh, helped guide the Arizona Diamondbacks to a surprise World Series appearances, 54 steals and 59 attempts. Incredible. So that's who ESPN names as the top 10 players. Uh, some notable guys. So the first guy outside the top 10, Adley Rushman at 11th. Uh, I mean, he's awesome. I don't know if I would have had him quite that high. Bryce Harper, 13th. Fernando Tatis Jr., 14th. Bobby Witt Jr., 16th. Jose Ramirez, 17th. Julio Rodriguez, 18th. Mike Trout, 19th. Trey Turner, 20th. I'm naming too many guys. Um, Manny Machado, 25th. Jose Altuve, 26th. Um, Rafael Devers, 30. Uh, Pete Alonso, 32. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., MLB The Show cover boy, 35. So I I'm going to stop there. I'm not going to keep naming um, you know, all guys in the top 100. This actually isn't an ESPN Plus article. So you can go ahead and check it out. Uh, which clubs had the most players on the list? Braves and Astros with 8. Dodgers 7, Phillies 6, Rangers, Diamondbacks, Mariners, and Mets 5, Yankees, Padres, Guardians, Marlins, and Cubs 4, Orioles, Blue Jays, Cardinals, Pirates, Brewers 3, White Sox, Red Sox, Giants, Rays, Twins 2, Royals, Angels, Reds, Tigers 1, and as I mentioned, National Rockies and Athletics 0. Let me know in the comments if you agree with uh, the top of the list. Who do you think is the best player heading into 2024? But as I mentioned... Just so much talent in the sport. Anyhow, don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.